command does the opposite to rasterizing an image. So what it's really good for is converting a pixel-based image, like this, these photos of the cars. If we zoom in on it, we can see the individual pixels there, into vector-based shapes. Um, this would have taken hours and hours to go through and redraw this complex uh, Audi using most likely the pen tool and different shape tools. Um, what you can now do is use the image trace tool. So I'll leave the original image up here and we'll create an image trace on this lower image. Uh, and you can do it in fractions of sort of seconds. So you just simply click the image, click image trace. It will produce it as the, the initially the default, so it's a bit more of a preview. Um, then you can select this tab here, which is the image trace panel, and that gives you various options to go through and change. So we've got default at the moment, and what's best is to get an image that's really high contrasting, so you've got great highlights and shadows, um, where image trace is going to be able to define a nice line, where it's not just a black blotch. Um, and you can make it change the threshold to less if it's a really dark image, um, and more if it's a it's a bit more on the lighter image. Other tools to play around with it are the preset, so that's just the default at the moment. Hyperdelia wouldn't really worry about it, it just keeps it as a Photoshop, a sort of photo looking image, uh, but it takes up a lot of space. Low fidelity is quite a good result in terms of breaking it down into maybe 20 different set of layers and what predominantly those uh, the colours of those layers are. Not layers, but objects. And there's a three color, and there's also sketched up is quite good. For now, we'll just leave it as a default. And at the moment, it's sort of in a preview mode, so you can't modify it until you select expand. And then there you can see what's occurring. When you hover over it, uh, you'll be able to change the colors. We can see here what it does is transfer um, transfers even the white space into shapes and the black spaces into shapes. So you can go through and delete that background if you want. Uh, select maybe the black area of the car, change the colors. I'll replicate that to a nice red color. Sometimes it will do this in terms of it throws it into scray scale. It's just a bit of a glitch. So you have to go to color drop down that CMYK or RGB, and then the colour will appear. Now what I've done is I've deleted that background layer and it would have deleted that area in, in there. So if we want to change this white sort of space, we're not able to change the colour of it. But what you're going to have to do is maybe make a little drawing or something, change the colour of that. And so then that appears underneath. And that's the image trace tool uh, where it's been used uh, in publication areas. Uh, Computer Arch was a creative design magazine. This would have been created or developed using the image trace tool with the initial figure would have been an image trace. This um, sort of urban landscape would have been an image trace as well. Even these blotches, most likely image traces. Otherwise, it'd take hours and hours and you know, it's a days to go through and use the pen tool to trace it. Thank you.